So just a quick recipe for chicken schnitzel. Now I'm here on holiday. I've got the night to myself. The boys have cleared off. The crew's cleared off. It's wonderful. So there's no bells and whistles, no radio mics. It's just me and the camera and the trusty kitchen. And I thought I really wanted to make this chicken schnitzel recipe. I really fancied some comfort food tonight. And I'm going to be having it with a nice green crisp salad. However, it has to be said, if my boys were here, they'd probably want the full brioche bun type thing with the lettuce and the mayonnaise in. It goes with so many different things. And I used to be able to fob my boys off with this instead of going to a famous chicken fast food outlet. I think you know which one I'm on about. But this spicy breadcrumb coated chicken is totally delicious. Now I'm gonna be using chicken tenders today, which are the smaller types of fillets, because that's just a preference for me. Um, but you can use chicken breasts and you can just sort of slice them in half and butterfly and flatten them down. So without further ado, let's get making this delicious chicken schnitzel recipe. So just excuse the weird and wonderful camera shot, um, but there you have about 150 grams of the mini chicken fillets. They're the smaller ones. I find them so ideal for this type of cookery. Um, then we've got 60 grams roughly of plain flour. You can just see, I've just spread it on a plate. And really that's your guide is we're just looking at plate sized amounts. This is a single portion, so you'll have to double or triple this up for a family. In there, I've just beaten an egg in a bowl because it makes it easier when it's in a bowl and then you will see that I've got 45 grams here of what's called panko breadcrumbs these are a Japanese style breadcrumb absolutely fantastic because they give real crunch and texture to the dish you can find them in supermarkets right first thing I want to do is to season this flour so I'm just gonna really go quite naughtily heavily with the old salt. Also the same with the pepper. I really, really like this to be peppery. So on the flour that goes. I want a tiny schmidgen of chilli flakes. I would have used um, maybe paprika or I would have used chilli powder, but I don't have any in. And I really didn't think I was going to be doing cookery videos for you guys, but never mind, it's all good. And then I want a little bit of Italian seasoning. You get this all ready made. And I'd just like to add in a bit of that. And that gives some real nice flavour there. Then just take a fork and just mix all those little ingredients there into the flour. So that it doesn't all go in a clump of the same thing. It is fairly messy, this has to be said. So you're going to get your hands dirty. Right, production time. Chicken breast. Into the flour first, roll it over. Then into the egg. Then into the breadcrumb. then onto a waiting plate and just carry on that process into the flour into the egg and then into the breadcrumb there we go and onto the side plate and just keep doing that process until you've used all your chicken up. Then wash your hands before you do the next part. <laughs> so I really hope that you can see from this uh, angle guys. Um, but I'm just going to add a little bit of oil into a griddle pan and just let that heat up for a second or two. And then all I'm going to do is just add in my crispy coated chicken. You see them all there look? And just pop them there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave them for a few moments to sizzle and cook away before I start moving them about. It's really important that you try and get them crispy and cooked on all sides so don't be tempted to touch them just leave them there for a moment or two. 
Don't forget, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, you'll get all my recipes as and when they get uploaded and happen. And you won't have to go hunting about wondering who did the recipe. So I'm just going to try and bring this in a little bit closer just to show you. It's been about three minutes. And can you see it's golden on that side and crispy? And then just turn them over. You can see the heat is getting to that one more than that one. So you're just going to have to sort of move them around in the pan. But just keep going until they're lovely golden and cooked and crisp all the way round and through. So I have my little salad ready. And all I'm going to do Put these beauties around the edge and then all that remains to be done is to jolly well tuck in. Do you know there's absolutely nothing like this delicious steaming crispy breaded coated chicken and salad and having a bit of peace and quiet. Do you know I reckon I should go on holiday a bit more. Either that or clear the boys off. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm sure you will be adding this to your winner winner chicken dinners. <laughs> mm. Very, very, very satisfying. <laughs> the full written recipe is on my website, cookingwithemily.co.uk.